And happening right now, new details developing as police try to link one man to a half dozen murders. The Philly Crime Lab is hard at work with new evidence as we learn what the accused killer was doing just before the murder of a Duncan manager. Here's our Dave Schratweiser. A neighbor who lives on the street where Keith Gibson lived just prior to his arrest told me tonight the last time she saw him, he was wearing boxing gloves and running down the street without any shoes on. Tonight, investigators are analyzing ballistic evidence from his gun and evidence they found in the two homes where he lived. She was very nice. They just helped the community. She always wanted to work on the block. Neighbors on the 2700 block of North Krosky Street remember 54-year-old murder victim Christine Gibson fondly. They also remember her son, accused killer Keith Gibson. These people got hurt for no apparent reason just because he's mad or mean or whatever cause. Neighbors who asked not to be identified spoke out Monday just days after the 39-year-old Gibson was arrested and crime scene investigators searched the house where he lived after his mother was shot to death back in February. Inside the home, police sources say homicide investigators found evidence that could link Gibson to one or more murders in Delaware, including the shooting death of Ellesmere phone store manager and mother of two, Leslie Basilio. It's bad. It's really not. It's, it's just sad for the children, for everybody. He just, just, just sad. Meanwhile, experts at the city's crime lab are analyzing bullets test fired from the revolver recovered when Gibson was arrested last week for the gunpoint robbery of this Delaware Rite Aid. They're trying to determine if the gun matches the one used in last week's murder of Duncan store manager Christine Lugo, the murders of two men inside the Al Medina trading shop on Germantown Avenue last January and the murder of Gibson's mother inside our office in February. At that point, we could not link him to the murder and he was sent back to Delaware uh, in custody and did get out of custody again sometime in March. Investigators tell me that Gibson always wore gloves, always used a 357 revolver so he didn't leave any shell casings behind and never took his phone to a crime scene. That ballistic evidence should be finished sometime before the end of the week. At police headquarters, Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.